Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on RAM, how it works, and how to actually build your own RAM. This is, I'm going to show you my own RAM design, but uh, there are many out there, so if you don't like my design, then you can choose another one. But I'm going to show you my RAM design. So let me give you an example on how RAM works, okay? So right here, these levers on top will be our input, okay? These buttons on the sides would be our saves, and these levers on bottom would be our opens or our read this will allow us to read the information saved so this would be kind of like our open okay so right here I'm going to flip a lever right here nothing's going to happen right now but you can see that this is this piece of redstone is on this one is off so one zero like in binary right here would be our save so this would be save one and save two okay so I'm gonna save this information on off or one zero to save one okay now I'm gonna unflick flip this lever and flip on this lever right here and I'm going to save this information to save two so I just saved zero one to save two or off on okay now right here would be our read or open so I can read the information that I saved and save one and as you can see that is according to what I saved to uh, save one so this is one zero on off okay save two was off on and right when I read that or open it, you can see this is off on. Okay, so that's what basically what RAM is. It will you can save information and then read it. I can also overwrite information too. So I'm going to flip both of these on. So it's on on. Save it to save one. Unflip these. You don't have to unflip these, but I'm just going to. And then I can read this, and it is on on. Very simple. That is RAM and that's how it works very easy uh, it's not as complicated as you might think it is this is my own design again and I will show you how it works and oh I just showed you how it works I'm gonna show you how to build it so let's actually go into how you build this so I'm just gonna kind of stack a line out here and kind of explain how this works and how I build this so to actually create your RAM, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stack these up. This is just one RAM module, okay? And to actually create your RAM, you want to stack these up together. Um, so you can stack it east, west, south, or north. So you can have more inputs right here. So more data to save, more saves here, and then you'll have your levers on bottom to read each save. So let's actually go into how you build, build this. So you're going to want, I'm just going to use the gray wool as a place marker right for right now. So you're going to have um, like a line of this, and then you can make this however long as you want, for, according to how many saves and inputs you want. And then you're going to place stone on every other um, every other block right here. I'm going to place it on top of this, this gray wool. Next, add a stream of redstone on this, on top of this right here and then pistons under every other block or the gray uh, wool I have here and then I'm just gonna place blocks on the side here now when I flip this lever nothing will happen unless I update a block okay and unless I update the piston so if I unflip this lever nothing will happen unless I update the piston we can use this to our advantage to create RAM which is what I did so what we're going to do is we're going to place another blocks to the side right here like this and then we're gonna place redstone torches under these right here from here you want to add pistons on the sides here so um, to do that just what I'm what I do is I, I just do that like that and then you're going to also want to place another block on bottom of this so again like that and then another block like that Okay, next, what you want to do is you want to place wool or another block under these redstone torches right here. And then have it kind of stream out this way. And you can delete those blocks on the side. You'll also want to add more blocks on the side like this. Because we are going to create, create our read or our open. You can now place levers on the sides like this. Right here. And then you're going to want to place red so or redstone repeaters on the sides right here and make kind of like a staircase so like so 
very simple very easy and then you can also you'll also need to create put another redstone repeater right here and then again right here you'll want to do the same thing make a small little staircase like this and then you're going to just layer your redstone put redstone on the bottom here and just have it come like that okay so this redstone right here will eventually and end up powering this redstone repeater right here very simple so this is a ram module your saves will go right here very easy so now i'm going to do that like that and i'm going to save this information to save to Okay, so what this what's happening is this button, what we're using to update this piston is this button right here. Okay, this will update this piston. Now, this when this piston comes down, it will power this piston right here, and then it will hover over this redstone right here. So now when I flick this lever, this red this redstone repeater will get powered and because there's a block right here it is able to send power over to our output right here as for right here when I try to read this right here because there this piston is not going downward there's this redstone repeater cannot send information over to uh, this redstone right here unless there's a block like here right here then it would be able to make its way to the output but I need to save information first like so and now you're able to read that very simple now like I said before you must stack this up so to stack this what I would do is I'd probably um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to add redstone on the tops right here and then you'll need to add in redstone repeaters on the bottoms right here on the sides like so okay now I just have a simple RAM array right here this is kind of what like it would look like uh, when you stack it up a little bit just a couple lots of lots of rows of RAM right here you'll also need to add buttons on the side here um, if you because you might have to you'll have to remove them as you uh, stack it with world edit but it's pretty simple to re-add it Another thing is you'll have to also, every other one right here for the reads, you'll have to have repeaters right here, then redstone, then repeaters to increase the speed of, um, to increase the speed of the RAM. Oh yeah, another thing is you have to add repeaters. I always forget to do all of this. Add repeaters on the top parts too. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other video and my other videos and to subscribe. If this um, tutorial helped you, be sure to tell your friends and all that stuff. Uh, please post a comment if this also helped you. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.